Ladies and gentlemen, hello! We are here with a very special vlog. See, uh, I just got back from Indie PopCon, and we were asked to review a movie called Shadowhunters Devil Speak. However, there will be no clips of it because the movie only runs 22 minutes, and really any clip of it would be spoiling it. Mm -hmm. So, good. The gist of the movie is about Shadowhunters. What are Shadowhunters? Well, exactly what it sounds like. They fight and hunt the things that are in the shadows. Each one of them has a unique special power, which you'll find out more about in the film, and they are going after like a demon from hell. So, yeah! <laughs> the one thing we should mention is that it is directed by Monique Gata Dupree. Um, Monique is the first ever African-American tromet, and she also plays Liana. Did I say that right? Liana? Liana. Yeah. In, uh, sh in Shadow Hunters Devil Speak. Um, my thoughts on the movie without giving anything away, it is one that I would recommend you go seek out. Um, you can find it at Monique Dupree's shop. The link will be in the description. And you, if you order it from her directly, she, she should be able to autograph it. And there's a special going on right now where she'll throw in some other stuff. So that's just my thoughts on it. Go see it at 22 minutes. It's not much of your time. So what are your thoughts, Addy? Well, also, we need to mention this is a sequel yes. to the first Shadowhunters. Yes. What was that one, Shadowhunters? The first one is Shadowhunters... Oh, crap. Lost. Okay. Lost. Yeah. And that one's also, what, about 22 minutes as well? Yes. And directed by, actually, the main character in the second story. And, honestly, for a 22-minute, you know, movie or small vignette, I really liked it. I would love to see this actually further produced and made into pretty much a, an actual... made. A TV show. Of course, I have to say there are boobs. Yeah. Lots of boobs. So maybe it's good for HBO. I don't know. But well, it was a really very simple, very complete storyline and honestly it had... it was good. I liked it. For it, it being just a small, low-budget sort of thing. And it should be noted too that this is low-budget, but the special effects seem like they're higher in quality than some of the stuff we've seen before. Yeah. The special effects were very well done. Mm -hmm. And also, it should be noted, ECW wrestler, yes, ECW has an extreme championship wrestling wrestler, Tommy Dreamer, is in this as Jareth, which makes for some interesting viewing, as I didn't know he had acted before, maybe he had, but he does a good job as Jareth. Um, Monique directed this film, and it was really good, considering this is her first thing she's ever directed. Yeah. So, well, now that we've discussed Shadow Hunters Devil Speak, which is the name of it, we've told you where to get it, why don't we go to an interview now that was conducted with Monique, Nup Monique Dupree at Indie PopCon. So, we'll be back with a special thing right after this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with uh, Monique Dupree, wrestler, actress and model. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So, how did you get started <laughs> with films and being an actress? Uh, well, I've always known that I wanted to be an actress. Um, it runs in my family, actually. And my first film was Lean On Me, and I was 13 years old. Uh, I begged my grandmother for the opportunity to go on set because she needed parents' permission. And um, it started there, and it just kept going from from that one little part that I did in Lean On Me, because I had a really small part. But uh, there's, you know, that was my start. Nice. And then from uh, there, you went on to work in a, a couple of trauma films. Yeah. What was it like working with trauma? Uh, it's always amazing. I'm always willing and ready to go back at any point in time. Uh, I was actually the first African-American Tromet. I was told, because I didn't know this, so we went back and started looking at it. And I've modeled for Trauma four times uh, as a Tromet. And being in their films is an experience unlike anything else, and I say that in a positive way. Because as you know, you learn so much from Lloyd. People just see him as silly, funny, zany, but that man is brilliant behind everything else. So. Um, I always love working with trauma. Besides, I know I'm always going to have a great time and learn something like that. 
And recently you just directed a film. Uh, yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, I directed uh, Shadowhunters Devil Speak, which stars uh, ECW Tommy Dreamer. Um, it was a very trying experience directing. A little frustrating because it was my first time and when you don't like Lloyd talk about I didn't have a budget. So things that I would that would normally be easier to do was harder because I had to figure out finances and how to fit everything into this little bitty bracket. But I have to say overall I had a great experience because I learned so much and I know what to do or what not to do for my next project to make it even better. And now switching gears, how did you get started with wrestling? Uh, well, I've been watching wrestling since I was little, I was about eight or nine, uh, and I've always loved wrestling. My daughter said she was going to be a wrestler since she was the age of, uh, I think, seven or eight. And uh, I met Tommy Dreamer at a WrestleMania in uh, Atlanta. I forget which one that was, but it was in Atlanta. And then cut to a couple years later, he's doing House of Hardcore. I meet up with him again, and I love the first one so much. He invited me to try my hand in ballet because I said, I, I wish I could do this. And he saw something in me that said that this is more than just, you could try it one time. I just kept continuing, continually doing it. And, uh, and House of Hardcore is such a great, um, such a great indie wrestling show. And I hope that it does bigger things, but um, that's pretty much how I got this. Now, if people want to get a hold of you to purchase any of the films or your modeling photos, where can they go? They can go to www.moniquedupreeshop.com. And um, I have a sale going on right now, too, so you buy something and I throw something in for free. And uh, because I am still promoting myself and, you know, it's important. And I, I kind of took a page from Lloyd with all of that. Because while I have 10 children and I have to make money, I want to give back because it's because of the fans that I even have a website or that I have people that are buying my t-shirts. I have Team Gata t-shirts because my fans were like, you need Team Gata shirts because I'm Team Gata, which is my nickname, the original Gata. So, uh, I, I try to give back to my fans. And again, as you know, I, I took a page from Lloyd with that because it's very important to show your fans your appreciation. And thank you so much for taking time. Thank you, I appreciate it. Welcome back. Um, we we hope, missed you. We did miss you. We hope you enjoyed that interview. Once again, everything Monique Dupree related, t-shirts, autographs, movies, um, they Shadow can all, Hunters. Shadow <laughs> Hunters. You can all be found at MoniqueDupreeShop.com. Um, bit of word of warning, uh, there is nudity. And Monique's shop is not safe for work. Yes. And not safe for little small ones. Yes. So shoot them out of the room. Yes. All right. So now that that's out of the way, we have a special treat for you. What is it? The next thing we have is an unbagging. That's right. This here is the Troma Mystery Bag. You can find it at conventions for $40. Everything in here is $40. Um, they take stuff. Sometimes there's movies in them. I do, full disclosure, I have seen what's inside the bag. Uh, Adeline hasn't. And so I'm going to let her unbag it. However, I did take the movies out because... The movies are in a separate area because we are going to review those eventually. Ooh, it'll be surprise movies. It'll be surprise Yay. movies. So, to get started, again, here's the unbagging. You can find the unbagging at Troma's Conventions, um, and it's there until they run out. And yeah. they pack it with movies, they pack it with memorabilia, and they pack it with whatever stuff is around the office. Like so staplers? Like staplers. Ooh. So, here, here it is, go. the unbagging of oh, Troma's right. Mystery Bag. First thing. The Toxic Avenger Cup. That's right. And that is a Toxic Avenger drinking cup, and it can be found separately. Um, I think they charge like 5 to $10 for it mm -hmm. at the convention, but this is thrown in here. It adds some value to it, mm -hmm. and so yeah, it's a Toxic Avenger cup. For your small children to drink their sippy juice out of. Yep. Troma. Don't miss these tromorific events. 
Oh, oh that, that's, that's, that's for the, the convention. Putting so, stuff in the so bag that's not $40. What'd you do? So doing? I have put uh, some stuff from the convention in there, like when Uncle Lloydie's panels were at PopCon, <gasps> and I apologize. Aww. Aww, he's so cute. Yes. And that is a Toxic Avenger flushy. Flushy? <laughs> it is a flushy. It's um, adorable. It is. This, they, you can find sometimes, but I don't know how much they have them anymore. Um, and it is... Is a, this from their cartoon, then? Yeah. Awesome. It's from the cartoon. They did carry them at the conventions. I don't know if they still have them or not. But this is one of them you can buy separately, or sometimes it comes as part of the bag. But once again, this is a Toxic Avenger Fleshy. From the cartoon. Yay. What's next? It's... it's Alerta! Enol que si dos... Estrados... Es, estrenos, estrenos in video. video. It is a USA video... It's a USA video, um... Proximos thing. estrenos. But if, huh. if you oh, look... Oh! Is it like a Spanish... Yeah, it's the Spanish things of all the trauma films that are coming soon. Huh. And there's one side of it. Yeah. And then on the back there's GI Executioner and a Cannibal one. And that it's for, uh, on the front, you have Rabbit Grannies. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure what that one is. Like Rabbit Dogs. Um, this That's one, what it says. Right. This one is... Uh, Destrampe in California. Something USA. In Cal Sizzle Beach. This Sizzle is Sizzle Beach, Beach USA. Because oh. that's Kevin Costner. Okay. That's Lust for Freedom, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then that would be... No, that's Lust for Freedom. I'm not sure what that one is. Los gusanos invaden la tierra. I'm not sure about that one. I know that's a lust for freedom. Okay. And are these like and the releases in the, Spanish or yeah. is it ones they're, that were Spanish films that they s no, changed? No, these are all their English stuff released in Spanish. Huh. That's why on the back it says USA Video because in Spain... These were USA videos that were going over there. Okay. Interesting. How do I fold this back up? That like that. That's just like a big splash poster. Yep. That's neat. And GI Executioner and uh, Cannibal Inferno is on the back. Oh, cool. All right. What else we got in here? <laughs> the Toxic Avenger. Ooh. The Tox Box. It includes Toxic Avenger 1, 2, 3 in the animated. It's, it's a 3D. It's a lenticular cover. Ooh, yep. That's cool. Yeah. It's from, like it says, it's from the original Tox Box. They don't make it anymore because the original Tox Box had Toxic Avenger 1, 2, 3, excuse me, and the cartoon. The Toxic Crusaders. The new one has, the, the newest Tox Box has Toxic Avenger 1 through 4 in the cartoon. This is from the original pressing of 1, 2, and 3. It's so weird because I can put my hand yeah, it through it. It's, it's, it's like weird 3D, yeah. Yeah, it's like, or like, there's four yep. different layers, layers on this thing. This thing is really cool. I want to get it just to have this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is really neat. All and right. you want the folder. Not the little rubber bandy thing? Oh, the rubber band is just Troma a Troma Dance Film Festival. Festival. Huh? Yeah, it's That's a... cute. I think it's a wristband. Yeah, it is a wristband. Yeah, it's a wristband for the Troma Dance Film Festival. Troma Dance, by the way... It is the only film festival where they don't charge you anything. It is free to submit. It is free to go in. The after party is free. So what we're trying to say is it's free. So if you have a show up to it, <laughs> show up to it. If you have a short film that you want to submit to the film festival, submit it to Troma Dance. See if it plays there. I know that uh, one of the more one of the more interesting ones was the the short called The Battle of Burps and Farts. It was the only film in the Troma Dance history to get booed. So now we're on to the next thing. It's Troma, Movies of the Future folder. And it's a folder with Return to Newcom High Volume 2 on the back. So is this like a newer folder then? Yeah. Cool. Or they cobbled it together, I'm not sure. Oh, there's stuff in it! There's stuff in it. What is the Toxic Crusaders little hand-shaped notebook? Yeah. Thing? And if you look at that... Cast yes. monster when little John, Cindy. I take it they pulled this out of the office and somebody was writing yes. on it. Um, 
The cool part about this notepad is that it has stuff written on it. Yeah. It is taken from the Troma office, which is what makes this bag worth the money. Written on it was by Uncle Lloydie's kids and grandkids. So you are taking some of Troma history with? home with you when you purchase this. Oh, that's so cool. Here you go. Ooh, we got the Troma Times. Volume 22, number 1, February of 96. Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD premieres at Film Forum in NYC. Yes. Blondes have more guns to play at La, La Emmel's Theater? La Emmel's. Limley's. Lemley's? Lemley's. Ah, huh, that's kind of cool. And then, Visit the Troma Ville FM booth in number 708. Yep. Wow. And then on the back is a list of all their movies they have coming out. Back in 96. <laughs> yep, back in 1996. And there's... Oh, wow. Beware. Children at Play. Blondes Have More Guns. Vegas in Space. Killer Babe for the CIA. Tromeo and Juliet. Wow. Yeah. This is old. It is. That is cool, though. That's so neat. So way back in 96, these were all the films that were coming out and all the cool news. Yep. Okay. And we've got, uh -huh, it's cleanup time, Toxic Crusaders pin. Yes. Stick around. Uh, yeah. And uh, I don't think they make the Toxic Crusaders pin anymore. Really? Yeah, that is cool. The monstrously manly smell, Toxic, from Troma. And it's like those little bottles you used to get. Oh, it still has it in yeah, there. Yeah, it, that is official Toxic Avenger cologne. It is a manly smell. It is... I don't know how often those were given I out. I really don't want to open it to actually smell it. Yeah, I like, don't either. Like, I can smell the manly, like, manly smell coming yeah, through, but is, I don't know if it's also got the undertone of, you know, oh, yeah, I nuclear can smell waste that. or something yeah. or not, but it's Yeah, from really Trovo, cool. of course. This is really cool, and, oh, I didn't even notice this. On the back, there is where their address is, their phone number, their Telefax, and their Telex. Telex? Telex. Troma UD. Ha ha ha. And the Telefax. Telefax. That's funny. This must have been before the internet. Yeah. Yeah. It's not me, it's Troma. I think I love you, Troma. I think there's something in it, but mm. I'm not sure. I'm gonna open it. Go for it. Oh, it's a disc. card from Troma.com, and it says just Troma. Troma. I wonder if it's just a bunch of shorts and stuff. That could be. We'll have to check this we out later. We will have to check it out later. And put a after review. Yeah. Ooh. Lonely visit us is what it says. Really? Yeah, on, on that little card. Lonely visit us on the it's card. Said, it's said, because if you flip it over. Lonely, lonely visit, visit us, us at, at Troma.com. Troma we will make it all better. Oh, and while we mentioned Troma.com, uh, you can find uh, Tromets there, and two Tromets that we know and we talk to regularly. Uh, Monique Dupree, who did Shadow Hunters, was a Tromet, and Ellie Church was a Tromet. And that Sergeant is Sergeant Kabuki Man pen, another one is, for your pocket. Yay! Eee. Sergeant Kabuki and Man and White PD pen. Like that's a bubbly one. Yeah. Ooh, that's neat. I'm gonna give you that one. Oh no, it's Troma movies of the future. I wonder if these are like screener. I wonder if these are trailers. Ah, it could be. From different like years, right. like best of. Because this one looks newer, like it the does. folder. This one's 2014. What's the other one say? Copyright. The other one, copyright. Movies um, of the future. Which makes sense. Copyright Trum Entertainment. There is no copyright on it. Huh, so that must be an older so, one. Then. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try these out after this to see what yeah. the heck is on these. Yeah. So I'm assuming trailers, but I don't 100% know. And this is the front of the folder, too. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Up to their waist in gastric juices. Toxic Crusaders by Marvel Comics. Yes. It is a Toxic Crusader comic book. Wow, back when it was a dollar and a quarter to buy a comic book. Let's see, 92. Oh, my gosh. 1992. And I actually want to show something that... Hmm. That is amazing. If you look at the first page, $40 for Final Fantasy Mystic Quest on Super Nintendo. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing to me. That's insane. 
Because the ads in here are going to be of the time, and I'm finding that Wayne's amazing. World, the VCR board game. <laughs> yeah, there's an ad at the end for Wayne's World, the VCR board and game. And, of course, So Delicious. Who is cool spot on the back of that. Yeah, but no, So Delicious. I remember those. I don't. You don't? I don't. <gasps> you had no childhood. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, now this... This is in, Mexi in Spanish, Mexican. Yeah, it's... Toxic it's, it's, Crusaders... Colorear y pintar. It is a Spanish coloring book of Toxic Crusaders. A Spanish coloring and paint book. Um, should be noted Ooh, unused. That, that it is unused, and some of the stuff you get in here is extremely rare. This is one of the most rare items out there that's in this. <laughs> it's her playing the... Yeah, it's her playing the accordion. Playing the accordion, how cute! Is that from the second one? No, it's from the cartoon. Oh, the cartoon. Well, That's why there's... And it looks like the, the blind girl who, plays, who plays... Yeah, the, she was in there. Yeah. Oh, neat. Yeah. So they reused characters all the time. Yep. Cool. Coolio. They use the characters in the movie in the cartoon. Neat. It just does not come with the watercolor palette, so you're going to have right. to go get one if you want to. And... Oh, there's a few oh, more still left. What's this? Break Bronski is the good, the bad, and the subhumanoid. So Nukem High 3! <laughs> That's that, funny. That is a mini poster. Yeah, and on the back it's got a splash, a few pictures, and yep. it looks like, welcome yet yeah, once again to the world famous All-American, blah, blah, blah. Oh, cool. So it, it's literally a small movie poster, poster. and on the back, the back it's got blurred. the synopsis. Yep. That's so cool. And of course, to Toxie. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's one. another one. There's like a stack of them. Oh, I didn't realize that. The Toxic Avenger Part 2! The first superhero from New Jersey is back! And yep. again, it's the poster the on the front and a blurb on the back about it. Tackling toxic troubles from Tromaville to Tokyo. Yes. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Ooh, and the last one is Cannibal the Musical! <laughs> Six miners lost in the wild to Colorado in the 1870s. Half, five half-eaten corpses, one survivor, and seven, seven great, great songs! songs. Yep. That is so neat. It looks like these are some... And these aren't, like, reprints either. That's the other cool No, thing. these are... The actual... These are the actual stuff they had lying around, so everything in here is original. Wow. I so, think that's it. So too. that... Yeah, that is yep, it. Yep, that's it. That is awesome. it. Awesome. And so you can find these again at, uh, at conventions. Now, people have asked, are they at Troma Shop? I don't know. Um... I think they're only at conventions. I don't think they're at Troma Shop, but remember, once they run out of these bags, they run out. So if you see them for sale at the Troma booth, go ahead and buy them. Yeah, snatch them up. Snatch them up, because... because you once, don't know what you're going to end up right. getting, honestly. And once they're out, they're out. They, you can still buy the bags, mm -hmm. but they won't have anything in them. The bag retails, I think, for about $15 by itself. Wow, so... I was going to keep those out for a second. Honestly. Let's see what it was. All this stuff for 40 is actually yeah. not bad. And the plushie and the little and, wristband. Oh, yeah. And the, those guys. the plushie and the wristband, all of them. And it's oh. worth all of it. Yeah. Um, awesome. If you're a huge trauma fan, it's worth it. And something interesting. Somebody else got a mystery... Um, got a mystery... <laughs> Somebody else got a mystery... Um, Cleaning up my boobs. Yeah, New Jersey. <laughs> Somebody else uh, at a conve at a panel I went to got a mystery bag like me. The f they got the flushy. Everything in the folder was different. So yeah, it's you don't know what you're gonna get, but right. it's worth the forty dollars. It is worth the forty dollars. So Sweet. that will do it for us for now. Um, unless we may we may see what's on these and come back. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, so, if we come back, we'll come back. If not, thank you, and thank you for watching the unbagging. Go support Monique Dupree at Monique Dupree Shop. Go support Troma at Troma Shop. $40. And, and remember, this is mystery bag is for $40. So, this thing is so cool. So, all right. It's well, live in my boobs from now on. We appreciate that, and we will see you next time here on Mr. Cheeseball's YouTube channel.